So what's good, y'all? Y'all already know it's your boy Retro Young, the Bang Bang Kid, and Nick Biss and this bitch. When you get it, you'll get it. And um, I appreciate everybody that leaves comments down below and also, you know, leaves topics and things to talk about. Um, GTC Real, I think it was. I think he left a a, a, a comment that asked, uh, what do I think about the Wu-Tang series? And then it got me starting to think about some of the things I watch because I don't watch television at all. Anything with a fucking commercial retro is not watching period so other than cartoons i watch fucking cartoons or adult animation you know the rick and morty's and the adult swim and you know whatever my kids is watching at the time because sometimes it's just on you know what i'm saying but um yeah it got me to thinking about shit that i watch and then i thought what would be dope for me to talk about like that i watch so first i will speak on the wu tang series which is on Hulu. I think it's only on Hulu. Insane. Dope, dope, dope. It's a documentary, but it's the story. So it's not really a documentary. It's actually a series. You know what I'm saying? So that's the first part that's dope about it. They didn't just go and get interviews from Wu-Tang. Because I've watched a few different Wu-Tang documentaries. The one that's on Netflix. Um, some of those back in the day that used to be on the DVDs. And I think there's another one that was on. Don't get me the line. I'm not even going. I'm not even going to hold you. I might have seen it on YouTube. Can't really remember. But um, the series is dope. Like I like the actors that they got in. Got in them in the, in the series that who they playing. Um, ODB. I think that's his real life son. Great fucking actor. He's definitely pulling off his father, which is fire. Um, yeah, everybody in that story. And from some of the documentaries and interviews that I've seen of the RZA and shit like that, like a lot of the stuff seems to really be, you know, depicted well in the in the in the um series. I'm pretty sure they'll say, well, it wasn't quite like this or it wasn't quite like that. But you're not gonna get everything right when some when you when you're telling a story from so many different parties, different parties in the group. Like Wu Tang Clan has to be one of the biggest rap groups in hip hop. Period. Right. I can't think of any other rap group that was as big as them, except for, um, yeah, because not including bands. I'm talking about rap groups that uh, really everybody in it raps. So I think Wu-Tang is, you know, the biggest group. But the series is dope. It left on a cliffhanger. I'm not sure if there's a new, if season two has come out. So I'm not sure, GTC, appreciate you for the question, but I'm not sure if uh, season two has come out. I'm going to go check, but I'm not sure if you asked that question because season two came out or you just finished season one. You know what I'm saying? I had already finished season one when when it first came out. I was on it like I was watching it as it as it as it uh, rolled out each week and it was just fire. Like there's really nothing else I could say. It really brought me back to the fucking whole New York feel like that's my error. That's my era of hip hop. I grew up on that. So I remember when those songs was dropping and when niggas was dressing with the baggy clothes and the fucking the leather jackets and the, the braids. And I, I had my, my I used to have crazy hair like the braids and the gold teeth. I had the fangs. I remember I went. I remember the day I saw the day I saw Method Man in the Mary J. Blige video, which is the, I think the All I Need remix. And he looked at the camera and he had the fangs and the fucking, I think he had the cloudy eye. My nigga, I went and got the contact with the cloudy eye and the fangs done. I, I remember straight to the straight to the city when it got the fucking mold and had the fangs on the bottom half. I used to have a whole bottom row grill. And then I went and got separate and just the two fangs, the caps to go on top of the, like your canines, crazy. So, so the Tims, the baggy, the baggy jeans with the, with the unlaced freaking Tims just folded over. Like there was so many different, the Coogees in this. I loved where, how they captured all the vintage looks and fashion that was in, uh, uh, the, the overall series, even down to the cars, you know what I'm saying? The bug eye bends and the, the, uh, the sob and the, they, they, they really did their thing. Even the way they was talking, even the females with the door knocker earrings, yo, there's something about door knocker earrings, my nigga. 
I, it must, I don't know if it's a New York thing. I don't know if it's door knocker earrings is big other places, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's big in Atlanta and big. In, it's sort of like a cultural thing. Like door knocker earrings are fire on females fire. Don't get me twisted. I love it. <laughs> don't get me even talking about that shit is super dope. But, um, yeah, the series is fire. I, I'm definitely feeling the series. Uh, what else do I like to watch? I like to, I watch, I don't know. These, these are just going to be some, some suggestions for anybody who want to watch some shit. On Hulu, there's a show called Good Girls. Fire. If you're into, it's, it's basically about just three different home mothers, like mothers that stay at home that have gotten themselves into some shit. They selling drugs. They doing counterfeit money. They running scams. They, what's the names? It's crazy. Two white women and a black woman, like fire, dope. It's called Good Girls. That shit is fire. Um, what else are there was I watching on Netflix? On Netflix, Netflix has a show called The Circle. Yo, it's basically a reality game show, I guess. A reality show game show, which is basically is about social media with, um, you know, uh, 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 how people catfish and things like that. It's a bunch of people locked in an, in, a, in an apartment building in different rooms, whatever. None of them are able to see each other or talk to each other. It's just they just are able to talk through a social media platform that's called The Circle. And people have to vote and pick who they freaking um think is the catfish to kick him out and at the end the person wins i, I forgot the amount of money like a hundred thousand or fifty thousand i forgot what it is it's very dope it, it 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 just it helps you to see how people can lie on the internet or how some people are telling the truth on the internet or some people's motives what they'll do to get you to believe who they are you know what i'm saying it's, it's definitely a dope show um, I haven't got to the Irishman. I've been hearing that the Irishman is fire, but for three hours, really three hours, my nigga. I don't know if I'll be able to watch that for three hours. Um, what else? The Anthony Hernandez joint. If you haven't watched that on Netflix, that joint is dope. It's crazy. Like where he went in his mind when he did that shit it just seems like i don't know I, i'm torn in between yo my nigga was you are you stupid or are you dumb like yeah so i really don't understand like the purpose of like why he did it or his motive of doing it i know they're trying to like get on the whole sexuality thing but i don't really think he killed the nigga because like if the nigga did find out that he was gay or was a homosexual would he really have killed him? And then he walked around the crib like he was just so nonchalant with the gun. Like, in the killing, he kept the car. And he just did a lot of shit that was on some, like, I don't even give a fuck if they catch me. You know what I'm saying? So I watched that. Um, Was totally up in the air. I didn't really understand what the fuck I was watching, honestly. I, did, I was like, yo, this dude, was he trying to get away with the crime or did he not care if he got caught? It's kind of weird. And I just watched the um the drink with his woman, his uh his wife, who was saying like basically like yo if he was gay I wish he would have told me but she was her between her and the lawyer they were like man all that shit was fake like all that shit is fake ain't nobody was believing that shit so I don't really know where to go with that so you know it is what it is um I'm trying to think what else is there out there as far as Rizzo that I watch I definitely watch a lot of sci-fi shit watch a lot of gangster shit you know shoot and kill and bang bang shit that's just typical a lot of action a lot of action um yeah man that sounds pretty good that, that, like like i said if i think of anything else i'll come back and chop it up with y'all and do another video if you have any topics or any shows you think i should pull up on or you want to see me react to let me know um music anything just leave it down below in the comment section like i said it, it makes me have something to to, to to shoot a video for and it's more interactive fucking with y'all i appreciate everybody that comes through and drops a comment a like and all that good stuff you already know over on ig i am i am just kicking my shit there's some new music dropping on and bars dropping and if you fuck with that type of shit you already know your boy retro young is here for it i'm here for the fuckery but um yeah man thank you for coming through you already know I'm addicted. You're addicted. Bang, bang.